in this digital age, the marketers have to deal with a number of tools, interfaces, to get to a point where we can analyze, understand, and retarget our customers. This is not only becomes complex, but also confusing and slow. One key requirement, which I've heard from the marketers across the globe, is to have a seamless, easy to use integration between the analysis software, the customer data platform, the targeting engine. And today I'm going to bring just the same magic to life. In my demonstration today, I'll walk you through how a marketer can use data and analysis and then find interesting customer groups which he like to retarget, would like to re-engage with different marketing channels of the choice. Now let's see how this looks in action. So let's get started. Here's the workspace that I've created and I have a simple freeform table highlighting the top product on my site. Now, as a marketer, I'd like to create an audience of people who are interested in the most viewed product on my site. And I'd like to get them a personalized offer, which would increase the probability of a conversion. So all I need to do is click on the product for which I'd like to create an audience and then choose the create audience from selection option in the dropdown. This brings up the audience creation screen. Here I am asked to put in the name, description, for an audience and add tags to it that adds more context to it. Next, we have an option to set the refresh frequency according to our needs. It can be set up as one time, four hours, daily, etc. It also allows us to choose the date range and finally show us uh, how we use the context of filters. On the right side, now we get a view of the estimated audience return, which is an additional capability leveraging predictive analytics. Once done, we can simply publish the audience to experience platform. Once the segment is published, you can see a green pop-up confirming the same. The audience we just created is now visible inside the audiences tab under components in the customer journey analytics UI. Now we'll quickly move to the experience platform and see how we can leverage the audience that we just created to be activated to the destination of our choice. I'll now quickly move to the customer data platform UI. Once we are in the AEP UI, we navigate to the segments screen. Now we have to create a segment. So we'll click on the create segment button and inside the segment builder, click on the audiences tab under fields. Now here we see two menu options. First being the AEP segments that are already available. And the, the other one is customer journey analytics audience, something that we just created. We simply drag the segment we created to the center of the panel. As we don't have anything to add as a condition for now, we'll just give this a name, a description, and simply save it. Now let's see how we can leverage this to retarget our customers. We navigate to destinations from the left rail, and in the destinations UI, for the demo today, what I'll be doing is I'll activate the segment that we just created to Adobe Target, where we can further leverage it for any marketing or personalization activities. We click on catalog, choose Adobe Target as the destination, choose the connection, select the segment that you need to create and just activate it to Adobe Target. Now lastly, we'll be able to see the audience available to be used in activity on Adobe Target. Once we are into Adobe Target, we can see that the audience is now ready to be used for any activity. This is how we firstly analyze and pinpoint a customer group, which we want to target and then retarget these customers with a personalized message on this site using Adobe Target in real time. We now, with this capability of audience sharing in customer journey analytics, we can activate the audience to the choice of our destination in real time. 